CROSH is the Center for Research in Occupational Safety and Health, and our mission is basically to solve critical issues relevant to northern workers and northern industries. And we do that by engaging both workers and workplaces at all stages of the research. So we have what's called, or what we call an approach of field to lab to field research, which means we go into the workplace to have the workers in the workplace identify what the problem is and to um, understand the problem within the workplace context. Then we bring it back to the lab and we try and troubleshoot, come up with solutions to the problem. And if we think we have a viable solution to the problem, then we go back into the workplace to test it out. So this is our uh, wearable portable eye tracker. Um, so we use this a lot in, in the field research with heavy equipment operators, whether in construction or in mining. Um, so we, we wanted to just see how drivers are, are, their operating behaviors are. So um, it's very simple for field research purposes. We're able to just throw the glasses on. It's really quick. We have just a data logger you can throw in the pocket or rest beside them in the cab. And then all we have is a tablet that just connects, just connects to it. So we're able to live monitor um, where they're looking. So there's a camera on these glasses and, and the sensors to, to read the pupils. And then, so you see it exactly in the screen and we're able to further analyze it with the data stored on the data logger. So say we throw cameras on the, on the truck or we throw different mirrors on the truck. Um, how are their operating behaviors changing with regards to that? So we, we can get them to perform their regular work duties uh, with and without different technologies. Another use that, um, that we have is looking at training. So if we have experienced drivers that have been operating equipment their entire career for years and years, we can get them to do a trial or get them to do their work duties or whether it's in mining, if we have them driving underground in the scoop, we're able to see how an experienced driver uh, scans the environment, assesses hazards, and then we can go and look at all the different trainees, people that have never touched equipment before, people that have never been underground before and um, see you know, where, the, where the differences lie there. Some other great projects though we have going on um, is the Toolbox uh, Vibration uh, Project, um, the Mining Mental Health Project. Um, we've had um, work with paramedics in the north um, trying to reduce their job stress. Traditionally, workers in Northern Ontario have been excluded, right, because of their geographical distance. And so they, they haven't been able to participate in research. So what this allows us to do is we can go to a work site in Terrace Bay, set up outside of the work site, not put any burden on the work site itself in terms of needing to provide us with you know, space or bathrooms. The workers can come out and we can um, do test measurements or set them up with equipment. And, and basically we can park on site for the data collection period. Um, and, and like I say, nobody else can do that. This is the only occupational health and safety lab in Canada, basically, that can, that can drive up to these communities and, and offer engagement that way.